The Dime Traveller Nun loved collecting things from other countries, especially coins, because they were quite cheap and easy to find. She would walk around looking on the ground and often found coins from other countries just laying there in plain sight. She had a large collection of coins from England and Russia, but most of all American dimes. She had one from every year they had been minted, except one from 1959. It didn't matter who she asked or where she went, she just could not find the elusive coin. Just before the Tet Festival, she was walking around near Huankim Lake and saw something near a small bench at the side of the lake. She walked over and looked around before stooping down and picking it up. Yes, yes, she hollered. It was a very dirty 1959 dime. Nan was very excited to find the coin and completed her collection. It was very dirty and looked like it had been there for a very long time. She rubbed it hard with her finger and thumb to get off the dirt. Suddenly, everything went cloudy. It got dark quickly and her eyes started to close as she fainted to the ground. When her eyes opened again, everything looked different. The sky was much clearer and the road was very crowded, but not with traffic like before, but with people selling goods and handmade products. She had watched many films about time travel and she had a feeling that somehow the coin had transported her back in time. But she had to be sure. Crossing the street was a newspaper seller and so she called to her and looked at the first paper. She was right. The date said June 3rd 1959. She walked over to a small seat near the lake and sat down. How can I kept back, she thought. Then she looked at the tiny coin in her hand and had an idea. She turned the coin over and rubbed it again, just as hard as before. Her eyes closed and she opened them again quickly as her bottom hit the pavement. The small seat was now gone and she heard a laugh from a boy who had seen her fall down, but luckily had not seen her reappear from the past. She ran home quickly to find out if the other coins in her collection did the same as this one. Bolting up the stairs, she rushed into her room and slammed the door quickly. She tipped out her American coins and started looking at the dates. 1970, 1982, 1999, 2005. Ah, that's the one, she cried out with excitement. Nan had a plan to become rich. She looked through lots of old newspapers and wrote down all of the lottery numbers that had big wins over the last few years. And then she crossed her fingers as she rubbed the coin. Her eyes opened and she was curled up on the floor. I must remember to sit down before I rub the coin, she said to herself, while rubbing her bruised bottom. She looked up at the calendar on her bedroom wall and the date was October 30th, 2005. Yes, 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 she cried out as she leapt to her feet. She walked down the road without dawdling and said hello to the lady selling tickets. She looked through the tickets and found the right one, the winning ticket. Nan pulled out a new 100,000 note and handed it over to the woman. The seller looked at her and said, What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? Nan looked at her and frowned. This is not real money, it's made of plastic, the old woman said angrily. Nun realised her mistake and quickly handed the old woman a crumpled old note instead. She snatched back the new note and thrust it into her pocket again, before yelling thanks as she ran away. That night, Nun slept under the stairs near the home market. It was a warm night and she didn't feel cold, but she was a little scared. The next day she went to collect her 45,000 US dollars. She got them to give her the money in cash and then she hurried back to home again and rushed into her bedroom. Nun continued her plan for many months until she became a very rich girl, but people were starting to look at her differently, asking questions about the money and commenting 
on how she was too lucky. She decided that she must stop what she was doing. Money had changed her now and it was like a drug. She had gone from poor to rich, but it was never enough. She had almost three million dollars, but still she wanted more. Gunn thought carefully and then made a decision. She gave away one million to charity and shared another million with her family and kept one for herself. The interest from the money was enough for her to live very comfortable life. The next day she took her collection of coins to the local artist who welded them together to make a wonderful statue that now sits beside her bed to remind her never to be too greedy again. The end. Thanks for listening. See you next time.